Coach, you have two three-game winning streaks and one four-game losing streak. Can you tell me the difference between the, the two streaks? And I mean, is there any one thing that you can even point to there? Um, yeah, I haven't really thought about it. Um, I guess that uh, our four-game losing streak, three of them were on the road, uh, 3,000 miles away, 2,000 miles away, and then one home game. Yeah. Uh, whereas the winning streaks are at home. Montana State's good. I wish they weren't as good as they are. I watched them on film yesterday and last night and then some this morning. They've got a good team. Uh, you know, we're going to have to play well. We, you know, they uh, have two very good players that can score and they have scored against anybody. They played a very difficult schedule. They've been a lot of road games. Um, but uh, the kid, uh, Eric Rush, who's from Northern California, two guard, very good uh, athlete. Good shooter, good score, and then, the, and then their foreman, another foreman like the guys we saw against um, Cal Poly and uh, Davis, and, that, and, and he's a you know, very good player. And he's a step out foreman. He can score around the basket, but he can also shoot the three. He plays out on the perimeter. He can play more like a guard than like a uh, true power forward. Uh, their point guard, Singleton, played at Fairfax High School in the local product, Singleton. This team is Owen. Oh, Did you say the BYU game uh, was the best game defensive, defensively the team's played this year? You know, we did a good, uh, some good things defensively for sure uh, in that game, but they still shot a high percentage. I think we forced them to some turnovers. And, uh, you know, the one thing they were talking about the game is they only had seven assists on the baskets they made. So uh, I thought Mountain Wing in particular did a great job of trailing. You know, <coughs> shot a good percentage, did have seven turnovers, and that was probably a, a huge stat. And we only had ten turnovers, and I, I think they had, I don't know, I think they had 19 shots. So that was a big difference in the game. The importance we can not only win, but, but kind of look crisp and doing so, like anything's out that we get ready for the next game. Um, yeah, we're hoping to play well uh, and continue to improve as the season progresses each year. Team's getting better at getting the ball inside. Well, we uh, usually are going to have a size advantage with Josh in there in particular. Um, we had some nice possessions against the zone on Saturday where we got it in and they kicked it back out. One time a Honeycutt got an open three. Another time, I'm trying to remember who else it was, that we got it back out and then got it back inside for a cutting layup by Reeves. Uh, good ball movement. And, uh, you know, we've got to continue to do that. Um, and, you know, we've got to improve defensively. I mean, uh, we've got to, you know, I, Emory had a good second half against us here. He was a good player. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got to be consistent. I thought one of the best things I've ever said uh, a minute earlier is uh, taking care of the basketball. And I was pleased with that when we had 10 turnovers on that game. That's something we want to continue to, to uh, Coach, what are some of the issues with defensive health from your bigs? 
seems like they're struggling a little bit as they come over and provide help. Uh, just what you said. <laughs> if our big guys are uh, going to do a better job of coming over at times and giving help. I thought Josh probably is doing the Josh and Brendan are doing the best job. Josh is taking more charges than Brendan. The charge he took on for debt, which was his fourth foul, for debt's fourth foul, that was a huge play because uh, you know, we had a chance to go 14, we lost two free throws, and we went from 12 to like two. And uh, it was a two or four point game when he took that charge and took for debt out of the game. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> that's kind of when we made our move to take a, a lead again of seven to nine points there as we went into the last part of that game. Um, you know, Reeves has got to get better at that. There were a couple times I thought he should come over and have been more active on the ball, uh, you know, trying to make a play uh, to block a shot. We did try to take charges. Uh, you know, Lamb had a charge that he took in that game that wasn't called our way. Uh, it was a big play. Reeves took a charge in that game that they actually, I think, called a block, which, I, as I watched it, was in the first half, was uh, 